What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with a little bit of an update video because it seems to me based on some of the comments that I get on a regular basis that YouTube is not consistent in the notifications or the impressions that they send out. Many of you have been subscribed for a long time, but are seemingly unaware of some of the changes that have happened on this channel over the last couple of years even. We've had several vehicles come and go on this channel over the last couple of years, uh, including a C6 Corvette. I actually really love that Corvette. The LS3 is incredible, and I got a bunch of videos on the channel, so if you guys are interested in C6 Corvette stuff, I'd encourage you to go check out that playlist or those playlists, some installations, some trial videos, some a whole range of content on that C6 Corvette. I didn't keep it very long though because my wife got a bright idea and decided she wanted a camper. So we had to get a camper, but also needed a truck in order to pull it. So I sold that C6 Corvette and ended up getting a Nissan Titan, the 2021 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. I'm a big fan of Nissan and Infiniti products and got some relationships in the industry. So I decided to stay with a platform that I might be able to get a little bit of help on. We really love the Nissan Titan. It's been a great truck for us and we're really, really enjoying it. We're enjoying some travel and adventure in it as well. If you're interested in some Nissan Titan content, and I do have some on the Speed Culture Studios channel, but I would recommend going checking out our other channel, The Next Adventure. We have more Nissan Titan content there, but also more travel, camping, overlanding related type content if you're interested in that kind of stuff. So again, I'll put a link in the description below. Check it out if you get an opportunity. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers there. So if you want to help us hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, We'd appreciate it. As most of you are probably aware, I also had a Nissan 350Z, a 2003 model on the channel as well for a long time, a number of years actually, and I got a lot of great content out of it and put a lot of work into it. However, we sort of reached a point of diminishing return, I will say, and I had to sell it to free up a little bit of capital. Okay, I shouldn't say I had to sell it, but I wanted to sell it because I knew I could get a little bit of cash and I wanted to take on a project that I've wanted to take on for a long time, and that was a C5 Corvette. If you take a look at the channel today, you will notice that I'm currently bombarding the platform with C5 content. Really enjoying the car, but my goal was to move really fast with this project because I didn't want to drag it along and I wanted to try to really leverage some uh, growth that the channel was seeing and capitalize on it. And I think this platform is going to be one that grows dramatically as it's gaining popularity in the drifting community, especially. So doing a lot of cleanup work there, uh, you know, revitalizing some things, replacing some worn out components, but more importantly, really tackling the performance side of it. I got some Silvers coilovers, big shout out to Silvers for being a supporter of the channel right now. I appreciate that greatly, but the car is also in the shop right now getting an, a camera upgrade as well as a valve train upgrade in general and it's going to be sweet. Now, if you clicked on this video I can only assume you've been a longtime follower or you're interested in Q50 content so that brings me to the point of the video overall because a lot of people are chiming in asking what's going on with the Q50? Where's the Q50? What's happening with the Q50? Well, guys unfortunately well not unfortunately uh, maybe unfortunately for you Q50 enthusiasts I sold the Q50 a couple of years ago and Part of that was to broaden my horizons and bring new projects onto the channel. I had the Q50 longer than I've had any other car ever in the history of car ownership. I had that car for four years about, and that was a great four years, and we got a lot of content out of it and did a lot of really fun, cool upgrades. However, I never intended this channel to be a, a Q50 specific channel. It's a channel for automotive enthusiasts, and part of that is to broaden our horizons and experience new platforms. Life is too short, and there are far too many cool cars to not enjoy them. So I had to get rid of the Q50 in order to explore some new avenues, and part of that was getting that C6 Corvette. Do I miss the Q50? Sure, it was a great car, it was comfortable, it was fun to drive on the weekends, but also a great car to drive to work every single day. With that being said though, I did almost everything I could possibly do to it aside from going for induction. I just really could not muster up the enthusiasm or the willingness to spend seven, eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars on upgrading it further in terms of forced induction. We know going forced induction on a VQ can be a lot of fun. We can produce a bunch of power, but you're looking at also upgrading the transmission. That was never another that would have been another several thousand dollars and it just wasn't something I was interested in in a car that I already had had for four years at that point. Am I done with the Infiniti Q50 completely though? I would say no. I say no because I still have a lot of interest in owning a 3.0T and now not necessarily a Q50. I would be very interested in owning a Q60. I've always had my eye on a Q60. It, I, I just, I kind of love the look of them. I think they're far better looking than the Q50 to be quite honest. And I love a coupe. So I'll never say never. And like I said before, it's all about exploring new platforms on the channel, learning new things, trying new things. And although there's a lot of attention on the 3.0T these days and people are doing a lot of crazy things with that car, I want to get my hands on it myself. Like I said, I'm trying to move fast with the C5 Corvette. You know what that means? If I get to a point where I just don't think there's anything more I can do to it or anything more I can bring to the table in terms of 
upgrades or content or entertainment, then I'll move away from it. Because I don't yet have my dream garage built that I can only house a certain number of cars at our current home, I'm probably gonna have to sell it. That's really getting ahead of the game though because the car is still in the shop. I, I haven't even put you know four or 500 miles on that thing yet. So there's a lot of content yet to come. And like I said, I got suspension components sitting in the garage right now. So that's really the update there, guys. I got rid of the Q50 a couple of years ago. We got a C6 Corvette. We sold the vet. We actually sold my wife's Explorer. We got a Nissan Titan. We got a camper. And now I have a C5 Corvette and recently sold the 350Z. So a lot has changed on the channel over the last couple of years. And if you are one of those people that have asked me what happened to the Q50, maybe you should go check out some of the videos because I never stopped uploading. I've been around, I've been doing things and maybe, even just maybe, you might find some content that you're interested in, even outside of the Q50 platform. As always though guys, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate the continued support up to this point. There's a lot more coming for the channel, so I hope you stick around. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh.